we set out to build a lightweight but durable bulletproof John Wick suit, and it took way longer than expected. But I think we've determined our winning material. The jacket is about 20 layers of a special Kevlar, with every second layer cut at a 45 degree angle. Here we have a jacket, sort of. In this state, everything about it can be changed. And that's important for me because I don't know how the bullet resistant panels and the wool are gonna work together. We've got mock-up sleeves, we've got a mock-up collar. All of this white stitching is temporary and will be removed eventually. And we've added a lot of room in the seam allowances to make sure any adjustments can be made when we get it on James. Now in the real suit, it's gonna go between the fabric and the lining. But what this one is going to do is it's just going to sit under my mock-up and simulate the thickness of the panel so that we can get a really good fit on James. So these are your trousers. I hope you're wearing hacks with underwear. This is your shirt. Should bring tie pins back. <laughs> this is some, uh, some weight. Ta-da! Looks just like the movie, right? It doesn't look bulky. I was yeah. expecting it to look a lot more bulky. This is why I have spent hours and hours agonizing over the pattern on the dress form. The suit's definitely a bit thicker than uh, the one in the movie, but obviously the one in the movie isn't real at all. It looks good. Yeah, that's a suit. Charles, punch me. Not with the scissors. No! No! no. no. Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. It's been a long time. Tell me, Mr. Wick, is this a formal event or a social affair? Social. And is this for day or evening? I need one for day and one for night. And what style? Tell you. How many buttons? Two. Trousers. Tapered. How about the lining? Tactical. That was awesome. This suit is super flexible. I had no issues shooting that gun. And honestly, it just feels like a bit of a thicker, heavier suit. It does not feel like I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, but I do feel like super safe in it. And the mobility, like I can run around and be John Wick in this suit, like no problem. I think it's safe to say we definitely achieved that goal. But the biggest goal was making a bulletproof suit. So after almost a year of hard work, it's time to shoot this thing. Now obviously, I'm not gonna wear the suit when we're testing it because that would be insanely stupid. We've got this mannequin who volunteered to have all his ribs broken. It goes without saying, do not try this at home, do not try and make your own armor, and certainly do not test it. We're gonna use a P226, which is the same gun they used in the movie. First up, the standard bulletproof vest. Woo. And now, ours. Let's see what happened. Oh, I'm nervous. You can see the hole through the wool. <laughs> but we knew that would happen because wool is not bulletproof. Let's take a look at this one first. Where did I even hit it? Yeah, it's right there. Ooh, it's lumpy. Yeah, it's right there. Did his job, kind of to be expected. The pressure is on for ours. I can already tell. That's where I hit it. Get a little hole in the wool. Oh, I'm nervous. Did you guys not button up his shirt? What is this, amateur hour? <laughs> oh, I don't feel anything. The hole is right here. There is no hole here. I can feel a bit of a lump. We did it. It stopped a nine mil round. Oh no, his tie. I knew we should have made the tie bulletproof. And I can feel the bullet, it's right there. That feels like it didn't even go through many layers, actually. It looks like it got through two layers. Ta-da! Full metal jacket, nine millimeter round, mushroomed like crazy. Worked! <laughs> Woo! Spent a year building a bulletproof suit. And it stopped, it stopped a bullet. <laughs>